Welcome to the Lynn Lineup, a program where we focus about organizations working to make impacts through events right here in the city of Lynn. And here with me today we have Hazel Kiefer, and Hazel is a member of the Food Project. Her title officially is the Lynn Urban Agric Agriculture Manager. We practiced that before the program, <laughs> still mess it up, but uh, Hazel, thanks for being here today. Thank you. Um, I want to say thanks for what you do in the community. And we're here today to talk about an event that's coming up. This is the Lynn City Farm Fest, May 20th, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, you can probably see flyers on our community bulletin board. Reach out to the information at the bottom of the screen for more information. Um, but Hazel, this event is really kind of a benefit to you guys being able to create some sustainability with the food project here in the city of Lynn. Um, so before we get too much into the details of the events, what's going to be available there, why people should go, uh, let's talk a little bit about you and your involvement with the organization. Sure. So I'm the Lynn Urban Agriculture Manager. Um, I have been at the Food Project for three years. Um, so my job is really to manage all of the um, land and distributions and community events that we have in the city of Lynn. So um, we have two farms in Lynn. One is on Monroe Street and one is at the Ingalls Elementary School, totaling about an acre and a half of growing space. Um, so we grow food for a farmer's market in Central Square in Lynn. Um, this year we're actually expanding our markets. We're going to be having one in West Lynn as well. And then we do a mobile market at um, Lynn Community Housing Sites in the summer. Um, so that's really what I manage. And then I also sort of take care of the youth interaction with our farms. So every summer we hire youth from the North Shore community to work on our farms, um, both here and in Beverly and Wenham. Wonderful. So I'm an educator for them as well. Um, they learn about agriculture and food systems on that, the farm. That's really the big part of this organization that speaks volumes to me, is the availability that's made for kids and members of the community who want to learn about agriculture, it's important. I mean, you know, we go to the grocery store and we see, you know, organic. And I mean, if you go to the farmer's market, you know it's organic and you know where it came from, which is really a cool thing. Um, the event that you guys are holding, uh, it's happening May 20th, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, there are obviously going to be stands there where people can purchase the food that was grown here in the city of Lynn. All the benefits go to the food project and uh, sustaining its ongoing efforts here in the community. But is there anything else involved? other than that, events, games, music, type stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, um, so this is actually our annual plant and seedling sale. So folks can come. Um, we've been working since early March to start different vegetables um, in our greenhouse in Beverly. Um, and we will have plants available for sale. So this is a great event for community gardeners, folks who have home gardens, people who are interested in growing their own food um, can come and learn more about that. and purchased heirloom varieties of tomatoes, eggplant, peppers, onions, broccoli, cauliflower, all different kinds of vegetables. Um, we'll also have raw artworks there, doing some art activities with kids. Um, we'll have some garden tours happening. So the event is actually happening at the Monroe Street Farm. So if anyone's ever been curious about what that farm is and what we do there, um, our youth will be kind of showing people around. Um, we'll also have music from Tiger Man Woe, um, a band from here in Lynn that's really great. Um, and yeah, it's usually a really fun day. A lot of people show up and we have music and food and it's a good time. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. It's definitely one of those community events that has a lot of other interchangeable parts. Mm -hmm. You know, one that's a, you learn a little bit about the food project, its overall benefit, but it's also an opportunity for some of these kids to get together, maybe meet other kids who have been involved in the project. They can share some experiences and stories. Um, you work heavily with the youth, and there's going to be some sense of reward that mm. these guys have go go through once they create any type of like agriculture. They pick their first eggplant. <laughs> they pick their you know well, I'm not even sure how broccoli grows, <laughs> um, but uh, they, I just so if it's from a tree or <laughs> it comes on the ground somehow. Um, you've been doing this for three years. Can you tell me some of the success stories that you've had with some of these kids? Yeah, well, I think um, one of the things that first attracted me to agricultural work and that I see with these young people is how tangible the work is. And you can really look behind you at the end of the day and say, like, I did that. I can see it. It's there. I weeded that row of carrots. It's done now because right. of me. Um, so that's something that I hear a lot from youth is just that very 
sort of physical sense of reward that they get from transforming a space. Um, and I also, I mean, we, it, we work with children at the, at the Ingalls Elementary School and at many schools in Lynn, um, and I love watching them harvest carrots. These are kids who, they probably didn't know where a carrot came from before this day on the farm, and every single kid pulls the carrot out and screams at the top of his or her lungs, like, oh my god, it's a carrot. <laughs> um, so that's a really cool moment, because they don't, this is not something that they, you know, have seen up until we get to show them. Yeah. It's really, really cool. Yeah, there's got to be some sense of anticipation on your end, too. And you're like, trust me, just trust me. I know it looks boring now, yeah. but eventually you guys are going to be ripping stuff out of the ground. Um, one thing that always really impressed me about, you know, agriculture and, and vegetables and all this stuff, but just the colors mm. and, and, you know, you dust off the dirt and, you know, the orange that is held in a carrot or the purple that's in an eggplant, um, you know, it just goes to show that this stuff is beautiful. And we were talking before the program uh, about how this is a benefit to humanity mm. as well. And it does. It allows people to kind of achieve a balance, right? And we talk about mind, body, and soul. These are mm -hmm. the things that you need to do. But our connection has kind of been lost with the earth mm -hmm. in a sense where we have uh, a, an incredible supply chain. I'm not saying that, you know, it's somewhat taken for granted. I'm not saying it's not a benefit to us. Here in America, we live a great lifestyle. Um, but being and having organizations like the Food Project, I think, are really important for kids, community members, parents, for people to kind of get back into that sense and see that this is stuff that can this can happen in your own backyard if you'd like to. Right, and we, I mean we've partnered with the city and with other um, organizations here in Lynn to kind of expand community gardens and access to community garden space in the city. Um, so residents can go on the Parks Department website now and see um, under, under Parks Department it says community gardens and there's a link that you can click and figure out how to start a community garden in your neighborhood. Um, that's thanks to our partnership with the Lynn Food and Fitness Alliance. Um, but I think it is really, you know, it's good for your mind and your body. I think you're really right in that we, you know, I talk a lot about how community gardens bring healthy food into our community, but they also bring beauty. And that's something that in an urban environment where people, you know, there's a lot of concrete, I think it's really therapeutic for folks to be able to see that natural beauty. Couldn't agree with you more. Uh, Hazel Kiefer, the Lynn Urban Agriculture Manager over at the Food Project. We're talking about this event that's happening May 20th, 11 a.m. start to 3 p.m. Um, this is the Lynn City Farm Fest. Um, come on down. It's going to be a great benefit to the community and it's also a good opportunity to learn a little bit more about the organization and what they do. I want to say thank you to my guests for coming on to the program, my crew for filming the show, and you for tuning in from the studio here at Lynn Community Television. That's it for the Lynn Lineup. I'm Sean Donahue wishing you all the best.